Hello, this is Bill Golis from Coda Bears. Today I'll be covering ODBC setup and usage for progress databases. Welcome to Lunch and Learn. ODBC, what is it? O ODBC stands for Open Database Connectivity. It's basically a, it's a middleware for accessing database management systems. Uh, with a proper driver for ODBC and uh, security credentials, ODBC can access any database that is ODBC compliant, which is virtually all modern databases. The ODBC allows access to data by a variety of tools and programs. And examples that we'll use in this presentation are Crystal Reports, uh, but you can also use Excel and Access with Microsoft or other third-party tools and programs. For instance, you can pass data you know, to other machine programs to uh, set up uh, shop equipment and such, or between other applications in the database. Setting up ODBC connections to a progress database. The first thing you need to do is install the progress driver, which I will demonstrate after this short presentation. That is done from running a net setup program uh, from your Open Edge install on the computer that you want to have ODBC set up on. Uh, ODBC drivers and connections need to be set up on each workstation that you want to be able to access the database. Uh, to set up the driver with the Net Setup program, you have to navigate to the folder on the Epicore share of your application server. You run the executable uh, setup file and you may get a few message boxes on file extensions that are already registered. Uh, you just say no to those. And you may get a couple of uh, compatibility, uh, program compatibility messages, typically for Java Virtual Machine. And you just need to choose to run the program without getting help. This is because the net setup from OpenEdge is uh, somewhat dated and on newer operating systems, uh, you will see these errors. After you have your driver set up, you need to create your data source, the uh, DSN. That's going to be a function of uh, if you have a 32 or 64 bit operating system on the machine that you're using to access. Uh, most versions of, uh, of Open Edge Progress that are out with Epicor only have a 32 bit uh, driver. So if you have a 64-bit machine, you're going to have to go to a special administration tool for ODBC setup, which is kind of hidden in Windows. It's in the Windows SysWow64 folder. Uh, the example that I'm going to do after this, this short presentation, the example is going to uh, be on a 64-bit machine, so we will illustrate how that occurs. Once you are in the ODBC administration tool, you choose the System DSN tab, which means that this connection to ODBC will be available for all machine users. Uh, you can also create a, a user DSN that's specific to the user. And if you have a shared machine with sensitive data, that might be the thing to do. That's beyond the scope of today's discussion. We're just going to show how to do a System DSN. You add one, you use the driver for your progress version. In our example, it will be 10.2a and then you have to enter the information for the database which is going to identify the host uh, server name and the port number and the database name and the user id for that database you also need the password to be able to access that database you also need to set up the default isolation level uh, on your dsn Typically, this is set to read uncommitted, which basically gives you a read-only access to the database, and it does not lock any uh, records. Once you've created your DSN, you need to test connect to the database to make sure that things are working properly. If you get a successful connection, then you are all set to go with ODBC. If the connection fails, you need to troubleshoot checking typical things like the server name can if it's misspelled or if there's some issue with not being able to resolve the server name you may need to use the IP address that's uncommon on most networks and you need to be able to connect to that server so you need to be your the credentials that are used when setting up a DSN need to be sufficient to be able to access the share where the the database is and it must be shared 
Also, you need to make sure you have the right port number to hit that database and have the correct name for the database. And you have to have the proper user name and a password for that database. Once that DSN is, is created, you can connect to the database with third-party apps, and you can report on data or import and use that data in other applications. As I said earlier, each machine that is going to be running ODBC reports or ODBC connected applications needs to have its own setup for ODBC and the DSN created on the local machine. And when using Crystal Reports, older versions, there is an issue with outer joins that requires a registry fix to resolve. Uh, that fix is pretty widely available on the internet. And we also have it here at Code of Bears. Uh, and then we'll have questions. So first, I am going to uh, go through the setup for you all with the demonstration. All right, we are on a server 2012 R2 machine here. And this is a 64-bit machine. All right, and now we're going to set up the ODBC driver on a Windows Server 2012 R2 machine. Uh, we need to go out to get the uh, net setup program, which is stored on the Epicor share of the machine that is running uh, a progress. And that's going to be for us. P. All right, here on the Epicor share, we're going to find the uh, the progress open edge install. Here it is 10.2a, a year version. It may be different. Within here, we will find the net setup folder. And from there, we're going to run the setup executable as administrator here. This is going to set up in the network version of open edge. The only thing you need to populate in here is the working directory which is really not relevant here because this will never be running the application just getting the driver installed so you can just put that as a as a c colon temp need to type that properly and then we're going to install as noted, you will probably get uh, a couple of errors that uh, there, that registry or that a, uh, a file extension is already registered by another application. Uh, a best practice here is to say that you do not want to re-register in case whatever else is using it you might need some time. Here's that error. Okay, the dot .i is already registered, so we're not going to pre-registered, DB's already, UDF, no, and again, CLS. So you get three or four of those, depending on your uh, on your environment. And then we'll probably see the error about Java, a virtual machine. And again, we can just I click through that and uh, say to run the program without getting any help. We did not see the error about uh, Java, a virtual machine no big deal hey first you want to a verify at uh, my computer or this PC properties if you're running a 64-bit operating system if it does not say 64-bit then it uh, then it is 32 but typically any new uh, machines are going to be 64-bit and in that case you need to run the setup for ODBC from the syswall 64 folder now just to show you I'm going to type in ODBC here and it, now on the newest versions you're going to be able to access a both 32 and 64 uh, right from your uh, you know from your from your start menu on older versions uh, for instance Windows 7 and the earlier versions of, of Windows 8 that are 64-bit it will only show you the 64-bit data source admin tool and it won't give you the option of doing the 32-bit uh, and to access the 32 and we're going to do that here from our from the run window. It is at C colon backslash and it happens to be right there. SysWow64. Okay, once you're at the a Windows SysWow64 uh, folder, scroll down past the folders, go to your uh, you know to the executables and the DLLs, and you go down to ODBC ad32.exe and open that that 
is your 32-bit um, data source administrator. Now, on the older versions, you'll have to do this manually, and it won't say 32-bit here. So you'll have to make sure that you're in the right one. If you set up your, your ODBC in a 64-bit environment for progress with a 32-bit driver, it will not function. So from here, first we're going to go to the Drivers tab, and we're going to see if our driver installed properly. And when you go down, that's what you're looking for. Progress Open Edge 102A driver or 101B, 101A, whatever A version that you happen to be on. So we see the driver. Then we're going to go to our system DSN to create our DSN. And we're going to add. And then when you get to the add window, you need to select which driver you want. And again, that's going to be your open edge driver. That should bring up a, a DSN setup window. And we're going to call our data source name lunch test and the description is going to be test for lunch and learn and the as i said earlier the a data source name has to be the same or exactly the same on all a machines if you're going to have your data source embedded into commonly used reports so that each machine is able to access that dsn that the report calls and we're going to put in our server name here. This is where our database is hosted here. That's going to be on the 905-700-P uh, machine. And our port number for uh, version 9 here for ODBC is 9450 for the live. Our database name is msgsys. And our user ID is sysprogress. So, and then we have to go to the advanced tab and we need to set our default isolation level. As I indicated, that would be read uncommitted. We're going to then apply and we're going to test connect. This should bring up a window that shows us what our parameters are and ask for the password. Enter the password for your database and say OK. And if you get a connection established, then your DSN is set up perfectly. Then you're all done. Well, that's all we have for today on uh, ODBC setup. Again, one of the key things that becomes an issue here is the difference between 64-bit and 32-bit systems when progress is typically always running a 32-bit driver. You need to set up your data source in the 32-bit DSN, which you may have to access by going to syswow64 folder that is located typically at C colon backslash windows syswall64. Well, I thank you for your time on today's Lunch and Learn.